The US Open for another year is over. Congratulations to Bryson, but oh my, I feel for Rory. What does he have to do to win a major championship? What does the guy have to do? Now get down below in the comments, I want to hear where you think Rory went wrong throughout the week. Not just those putts we saw in the closing stretch, but actually, where do you think he can go? Where do you think he's going wrong? Where do you think he can improve? Now, we're going to go through this because even though the US Open's been done and gone for this year, there is a lot of top coaches and players where they're pretty much blasting the golf course. Now, what did you think of it? Did you like the golf course? Did you like it being such a low, in inverted commas, winning total? I think it was a fair test. Do you like seeing them struggle? I want you to let me know down below in the comments in this breaking news story exactly what you think. We're back with a vengeance and all the breaking news is going to be hitting you hard in the next few weeks. Many of you know I've just had a little baby girl, so my time is a little bit shook right now. But we're trying to get into a bit more of a routine so I can bring you the breaking news. So any support would be great with a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel. So let's go into this. We hear from Terrell Hatton, Mark Halkovecchia and Claude Harmon III. Let's actually get into this because some of the rounds, if you hadn't noticed, were sort of around the six hour mark and over the six hour mark. And this was spoken about before the tournament even started. Okay, remember, is this golf course good, bad? What do you think of it? So let's start with this. Pinehurst number two is renowned as one of the toughest tests in golf around the globe. With its turtle shell greens and punctative waste areas that lie on the fairways, it takes several big names and victims on Thursday, all, all, all which were staring down the barrel for missing the cut. Massive, isn't it, that? Absolutely massive. I know that was the start of the week, but we saw some big numbers. So Claude Harmon said this, and this is son of Butch Harmon. I think the rounds are going to take forever, he says. I don't think we're going to finish. I certainly don't think people are going to finish on Thursday. And that's essentially because with such big rounds in the sense of big fields on the Thursday and the Friday before the cut. Now, he doesn't leave it there. The field's too big and the golf course is just too difficult, he says. I think we're looking at rounds in excess of five hours. And I think we could even have six hour rounds this week because of the test is just so difficult. Like you saw images of people dropping golf balls and golf balls just literally rolling off in every single direction. That's the US. That's what the USGA wants. They want it to be the toughest test possible. And I don't like that. I get why they do it, but I'll be honest with you. I like seeing long drives, shots in close, and a bit more of a birdie fest. But with that being said, I do think it separates the best of the rest in some way because... Very often in these big tournaments, it just becomes a putting competition because all of them can hit the fairways. There's not too much trouble. All of them hit the greens. It just becomes who can hold the most putts. So I'm a little bit sort of struck between, is it a good idea, isn't it? I do think there's a slight bit of moderation and maybe turn that volume switch down on how hard it is would definitely be the way to go with this. But let me know what you think. Now, I also said we're going to hear from Mark Kalkovecchia, US Open winner, big name within the game of golf. And he said this, I'm ready for some abuse, just gonna spit it out. Pinehurst is such a cool area with great courses. Number two ain't one of them. Most overrated course in the world. Let me have it, but it's true. Is it overrated? That I'm not sure on. That I'm really not quite sure on. I think it's blooming hard. I really, really do. But is it overrated? I'm yet to decide on whether that is the case. Let me know what you think. Hopefully, you can help me do this. Now, we also heard from Hatton. They can experience what it's like for me for a week. Now, what he means by this is because the golf course is so hard, so many of the big top players, I mean, we mentioned some of them there at the start of this video, the likes of Phil Mickelson, the likes of Victor Hovland, Justin Thomas, it's going to be so frustrating, isn't it? It's going to be frustrating and making such big numbers that you're not used to. So what Terrell Hatton's saying is, because the golf course is the way it's set up, people are going to get frustrated. People are going to go mad at this test of golf. Now, we're closing it in and not far away from the Open. How do you think this shapes us up? What did you think of the US Open? Did you think the golf course is any good? Many of these top players aren't sure on the golf course and if it is any good. 
That's today's breaking news. Be sure to subscribe, turn the bell, and don't forget, by doing that, you can keep up to date with everything that's going on within the golf industry. And there's a lot going on. We've heard rumblings of further talks happening between the, between the PGA Tour, Live Golf, PIF, DP World Tour. You'll hear it all here first.